Right, a little bit of history on the old place. So, construction started in 1901 and it was completed in 1907. Uh, the site is built up uh, eight malt houses and they originally was owned by the Bass Brewery Company. Great two listed buildings. Uh, they clo it closed in 1959. Uh, in 1969 and 1976, as I was saying earlier, there were some fires started, so some at malt houses was sadly destroyed. Um, there is regeneration plans uh, for this place, um, and I'm all for regeneration, you know, provided it's done properly. Uh, well, I say I'm all for it. I mean, it's. It's, it's mixed emotions really, it's, it's a bit like watching your mother-in-law drive off a cliff in your brand new Ferrari. Um, as much as I love the abandoned buildings, I, I appreciate everything has to be saved and yeah, as far as regeneration plans go, I think if it's done properly, this place, it, it could be cracking. Um, it could be made into apartments, I mean they were talk of that actually, uh, I think Tesco showed some interest at one point but then they pulled out. Um, but yeah, apartments, some retail outlets maybe on the ground floor, um, you know, the sky's the limit really. But there's been a lot of arguing going off uh, over the last decade, especially between, you know, uh, investors and local councils. So for now, it's just sat here, you know, falling apart slowly. So yeah, mixed emotions. Anyway, let's go and have, a, have another little wander around, I think. Um, go and see what's what. Because I'm happy to report, at the time that I have been wandering around, I haven't come across one cock or balls anywhere. A little bit of graffiti, but you know, nothing, nothing that really gets on my nerves. But just while I were having a little minute and doing my still shots, I, uh, posted the obligatory letter and I'm just going to leave that there for the penis posse should they enter so please don't go drawing cocks all over this place there's my little prompt for those that like to draw the cock and I'm just going to leave that on that bed I think Anyway, I'm just going to go and grab my camera, uh, go for a bit of a mission around. I'm going to go down onto the ground floor, I think, folks. Um, try and make his way further back, because like I said, these places, I mean, there's a separating wall just there, but they go way, way, way back, they do. It, like I said, it's, it's just vast, I mean... Before I do leave, I'm going to try and get some um, some decent shots and some decent footage outside of the place, but... I think uh, this is going to require a bit of light, this one, so I'm just going to turn you round and down these stairs. There we go. bit of barbed wire. Barbed wire stairs, it's unusual. Mm. Okay, so I'm now on the ground floor. Ground floor and a solid floor, which is always good. Hang on a minute. Ah, just checked and padlocked from the outside. Yeah, I really hope that window that, that wind disappears before I have to make my exit because it's going to be really sketchy getting them ladders out of that window. Oh, this looks a little bit beat up in here. 
you can see the flooring's totally gone. There's not actually been a fire in here, but there's just no floor up there. Jesus. Oh, God, I'm just walking on piles of pigeon shit, man. Not a bastard. I can. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. No, I'm not on ground floor. Uh, holes. So there's a basement. How do I get down there then? I don't remember that. No, I am on ground floor, but there's a clearly there's a I don't know if you can see that, there's a basement below me as well. Alright. Oh. Let's put you down there a minute. Okay. Hold, hold, hold. Fuck's sake, have a day off, will you? I can see through that hole myself and there's quite a drop. And if I go throw this floor in here, I don't think anybody's going to find me anytime soon, so... Yeah. Not risking that one. Look at these start ladders like. Good God. Right, I've just popped out of this little hole. Hello, people. <laughs> Into Pigeon Ship Central. My God. It proper stinks up here, take it from me. Ugh. So yeah, I'm not right interested in going walking through all that shit. Definitely not. Ah, I think I'll go back down then. Right, so I managed to get back outside. It's a little bit sketchy, but I'm out. It's absolutely cracking morning. That's the malt house that we were just in then. And as you can see, it goes way, way back there. Um, managed to get through three sections. And then I bottled it. Got the floor looked a bit dodgy. Yeah, 
that's just awesome. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to have a walk down towards that squared off building there. So you've got malt house, malt house, you can just see up there. That's the, the bridge link that I was telling you about. We were up there just a little while ago. Now all of these malt houses are linked together, but like I said, we've got this one, this one in reasonable condition. That one's fire damaged, that one's fire damaged. What we're going to do now, we're going to go to that tower there, and that's where Spiral Staircase is, is, is in that centre building there, the square one. And we're going to try and get right to the top of that tower. Beautiful view up there. Um, I just hope I could show it to you because, yeah, from uh, from what I've seen on some other explorers from some of the uh, other chaps, they've had a little bit of bother. Just uh, before I take camera off, I'm going to just give you a show you the big bridge, and that's where we are, just up there. Link bridges to, to each of the malt houses. Yeah, this place is mega. I absolutely love it. So yeah, we'll go, go and have a little wander down and see if I can take you to the top of the tower. I'm uh, I'm in centerpiece now, and if I'm sounding a little bit gutted, it's simply because I can't get in. It's a spiral staircase. It's shut it up like you won't believe. I'm absolutely gutted. I really wanted to go up there, but I think I've found a bit of a way of showing it to you. Just uh, going to climb up here to this window. It's the best we're going to get, folks, I'm afraid. And I'm, I'm really disappointed in this one. It's been really boarded up. And I'm certainly not here to do damage. If I can't get fair, fair entry to a place, I won't do it. It's as simple as that. I'm not here to break anything. I look at to check these windows out as well. I just wish I were a little bit smaller. Yeah, they are stunning, stunning windows. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there, and that, that's the spiral staircase what takes you to the top of the tower, but unfortunately it's a bust on that one today, and I'm gutted, gutted, gutted man. Right, I'm just going to try and climb down here. Beautiful in there though. Look at some of that old architecture, it's stunning. But yeah, I mean last time I came here, it would have straightened through that door there. Straight upstairs. Good old days. Good old days before people started vandalising everything and you know they felt the need to make these places as secure as they do. It's just a shame. Well, Never mind. Just gonna grab my kit. Just gonna put you down a minute actually. Oh. Let's have a little wonder out here. I'll well, show you a few bits and bobs like in this uh, this middle section. There's some sort of water tower there. Yeah. I can just squeeze by these bushes. Excuse me. And that, that used to be the way in. But as you can see, she's been shuttered up. And it's staying that way. It's going to have to stay that way for today, I'm afraid. 
But before we put a close on the, uh, the Explore, take a little last look at some of these. You can see this is another one at Malt Houses that were damaged by fire. Yeah, this roof's been totally destroyed on that one. There's this one at Bridges up there. What's left of it, that is. So, uh, so every single one of these were, were linked together via these uh, these amazing bridges. Uh, that one's seen better days as well. But, you know, even so, I've, I've really enjoyed myself uh, coming down here today. And I hope, uh, hope you've enjoyed having a wander around with me. Because, you know, I appreciate it's, uh, it's not for everybody, this. A lot of people are fascinated by these places, but not everybody's able to get into them. Um, maybe the age or health conditions or... So you could just sit at home and watch it on your telly. Now, I apologise for dodgy filming, but as you can see, I am literally wading through the wildness. And I'm always careful when I go onto my knees in places like this. And I'll say this to everybody else as well that's watching. Sorry, I've just got caught on some brambles. Be very careful where you're putting your hands. And when you're kneeling like I was just then, because the last thing you want to do is kneel on a, on a dirty syringe. Because, you know, junkies do leave these things lying about. You've got to be really careful when you're doing this kind of thing. All right, I'm just going to pan around now and I'm going to show you this awesome chimney as well. Now it's not the chimney that I was going to try and climb, I'm not insane. Hit with that towel block there. No, I'm just gutted I can't get up there because it's a beautiful view and it's a beautiful day today. It would have been nice, really nice to get up there. <sighs> but at least I managed to get it uh, into a malt house, so there's something. Better than nothing. Awesome. close to it there then. Thanks again. It's probably going to be a couple of weeks before I do my next explore. Got a bit of family time planned, doing some stuff with kids, but my next one is going to be mega. Probably even more mega than this one. So, yeah. Thanks again. See you later folks. Yeah.